this is Praxis, and today uh, my dad is here helping out. You'll notice we're not doing PPE today. We've both been really effective at isolating ourselves, so we figure we're kind of both on the same boat at this point. Uh, you know, I think we're taking some mild precautions, but what would you say? Yeah, minimal. Yeah, minimal I mean, price. you know, the, the things that aren't overly inconvenient to do, it's like, why yeah. not do them anyway? It's yeah, like, I, I, I haven't licked well, your face all day. Yeah. I think. And, yeah. and I think it's going to stay that way. Yeah, okay. So yeah. maybe that's one of the changes that we adopt going into the future. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we're working uh, here. My dad is uh, trying to lay out electrical, and I kind of wanted to talk about pre-planning things versus kind of just diving in. Uh, my dad has more of a pre-planned sort of uh, work aesthetic. Uh, I sometimes like to just sort of dive in and feel my way through it. Uh, I, I mentioned when I was building this that I didn't completely envision the entire thing when I was working on the sink base. Uh, I kind of like did a part and then kind of figured out the next part. And I said that didn't always lead to the most elegant solution. Sometimes it works just fine and I felt it would work fine for this. But my dad working on wiring, he wants to kind of get the entire thing in his head uh, before we begin doing it because you can just run into sort of irritating situations. So some things uh, make sense to plan out ahead of time and some things you know, you can kind of get away with it, but with something as complicated as the wiring for the entire house, take some time to sit down and work on it. And I think last time you were here, it was like the whole day, we were just kind of talking about it, yeah. taking notes today, it might be yeah. the same, I guess. Kind of still doing planning. Yeah, uh, and but what I've been doing while he's been you know, just chunking everything through his head is I've continued to work on this space here. You can see this is coming out reasonably okay, I think. Here's the uh, kind of like dividing area between the kitchen and the um, and the dining area over here. There's going to be a, uh, some kind of a, uh, I don't know, like a, a board on top or something so you could put things on there. At the moment this is only two and three quarters, uh, I'm sorry, two and three eighths inches thick. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get that a little bit wider. And I'm just going to be boarding it up. I've got this board here, which is going to kind of fit right into this area, and then it'll just be boards right across on this side. We're going to leave the other side open so that we can work on the wiring back there. If you look behind you, the refrigerator finally showed up. Uh, we had the A-team show up uh, yesterday and uh, brought everything in. We just left the windows open. We did do PPE when they came in. Uh, and after they took off, we just let the house sit for a couple of hours, and then I came through and I wiped everything down uh, with uh, cleaning rags and stuff. Um, River is about to brush his teeth, which is that uh, that groaning noise you hear there. River, there was toothpaste in the backpack, you know, right? Okay, I'll get it for you afterwards. Um, but yeah, that's the deal for today: is electrical wiring going forward working on this, and I keep putting more and more trees in every day. We're bringing a little bit of compost, putting the trees in, uh, and little by little, we're kind of getting those through. But that's another thing that, if you ever think about doing an orchard, it might pay to kind of plan ahead a little bit, because one thing I'm having trouble with is kind of fitting all the trees that I bought. Now, I have the issue that I bought them ahead of time because mm -hmm. we didn't want to get blocked out, uh, you know, for the season. And also, uh, you know, there's construction piles of wood and things that are kind of in my way. Uh, but if you ever think about doing your own orchard, it'd be a really good idea to actually put some stakes in the ground and count exactly how many trees you want to have in there, plant it out before you buy them, because, you know, those trees aren't super cheap, and it's nice to actually know where they're going to go in. Imagine that, planting. Yeah, I know. Why? Well, I, I was just eager yeah, to get them in. That's okay. Yeah, I mean it's gonna work out fine for me. Uh, I think I think we got it. But you know, if you if you have limited space, make sure you go through that. Put a stake in because sometimes you kind of visualize, oh, I could fit four trees in there, and then when you actually get out in the space uh, and you look at it, it's like it is more of a two two tree area right here. So there you go. That's it. Thanks for watching.